today I'm here with another tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 10x on real hardware using a WinPE e disk. Yes, that's right, let's use a WinPE e disk to install Windows 10x today. And now, for this purpose, you'll require obviously a WinPE e disk, any, any WinPE e disk like Hyrule's Boot CDP something like that you'll need a WinP e disk but not a Windows installation media you'll need the Windows 10x FFU and the command to apply the FFU and also one USB with a minimum of 16 gigabytes that may depend on the size of the, uh, the Windows P disk and without further ado let's go ado, let's go now plug your USB and open Rufus now we select our USB, we have our blank USB with 16 GB, we're gonna select the image or let's just drag Hyrule's boot CD here, and here it says that the file system is FAT32, but we need to change that to NTFS in order to shrink the the volume and copy the Windows 10x on another partition, which we'll do that later. We're gonna change this to NTFS and click on start, and we're gonna click on OK. And now it's gonna wipe this drive, and now it's gonna format it and apply apply the ISO, and let's do that. Now, now just sit back and relax while this is flashing. Alright, so once the USB is done, close Rufus, now open disk management, yes, now we're gonna find our USB drive, yes, that is the USB drive, make sure you select the proper USB before doing this, now right click on the partition and shrink volume, and now Let's just let's open up calculator and I'm planning to leave 4 gigabytes. Now let's just see. Now it says 15,257 minus 4096. Now we're gonna type 11,161. 11, yes. I'm gonna leave only four gigabytes for the for the booting, and now ten gigabytes for the FFU. So we're gonna create a new simple volume. Yes, you want to do everything. I'm gonna choose NTFS and type FFU and perform a quick format. And we now click on next, and now click on finished. separate partition for the FFU okay and now what we need to do now is just copy the FFU and the command over to the USB drive and now I'm just gonna wait to do that all right so once we've copied the FFU and the command we are finally ready to install this on our target reason why this video was split in two parts is because it was 17 whole minutes when I got done with it. Yes, that's right, entire 17 minutes. 17 minutes. And that's why I split it into two parts. Don't worry, both parts are coming. Part 2 is coming the same time on Wednesday. That was all for today's video. If this helped you, make sure you have liked this video, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye!